Oh, my back. Oh, I wish someone would break my back. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah. my God. I heard <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, I love how Heisuke is always on this fucking... It's always Deserve, Heisuke. Deserve, honestly. Love Let's that, man. Oh, <sighs> away. Why do we spend so much time with this guy? Right? I wish we could dress like her. Like all her cool hair accessories. Oh my god, it's this one! <laughs> Owie. My arm. Thanks, Hichikata. Oh my god. Y'all really gotta take care of that fucking problem. I guess Takuda really did just leave. <clears throat> Wow, look at that flashback. Especially the soldiers. Fuck the guard, who cares? <laughs> Except for Heisuke. Wait, what? I don't know about the people in it. The Someone high, high ranking. ranking. Uh, you know. The heads of it? Oh. That's, yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if we want to switch off again. Oh, I mean, would you like me to keep going? No, we can switch off if you okay. want. Heads of the Shins and Gumi seemed like the best people to ask, but they were all still talking in the common room. Perhaps I'll just wait a bit until they're done. Oh, hey. Almost as if on cue, Hijikata appeared in the hallway. Oh, Hijikata! Yo! Omaeka! Yasun de nakte ino ka? Oh, I'm like all good now. I'm cool. You don't make anybody else rest. <laughs> Well, actually, <laughs> uh, boring. I'll be careful, I guess. Fuck. It's easy to forget one suffered a significant injury when it healed almost completely by morning. I'll go back to my room, but can I ask you something first? Nando. About Ito and the people who are leaving. How do you like? Feel about it. If you wanna like sit down on the couch and have a little session. He's like feelings? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, people who were members of the Shinsengumi won't be. If I were in Hijikata's shoes, I don't think I could sit still. I'd be so stressed, my god. Either that or I'd blame myself. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Okay, but what about Saito and Heisuke? They'd all been captains together. Surely Hijikata saw them as friends at least. At the very least, he, he, Heisuke, that sweet child. Would Hijikata be- wait, sorry. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Would Hijikata be able to brand them as enemies just because of the change in allegiance? Saito ya Heisuke. I love how he said Heisuke, but it says Toto. <笑>確かにあいつらを引き抜かれたのはいたてだがな。いずれ裏切るかも知れねえ奴らなら、今のうちに破壊を明らかにしてくれた方が助かるって思う。You're <笑> a great actor right now. How could he be so cold and analytical about his friends? I mean, but like, I guess it makes sense if you don't want company were leaving because they were incompatible with the Shins and Gumi. Maybe it's for the best. But was the best thing for the future of the Shins and Gumi also the best thing for Hishikata? I can't understand. Damn it. <laughs> After some time. Oh. As I walked through a hallway, I stopped to, to notice something. I wonder how they landed all the way in here. Maybe they got stuck what? in someone's sand pillow? Rocks? Flowers? It's a time of year in which, no matter how often I had cleaned, the spring wind seemed to invite an endless flow of blossom petals. Watching the blossom petals that were scattered across the floor without a hint of their scent, I couldn't help but remember the ache of the goodbyes shared all those days ago. Apparently that already happened. Wow. How was Heisuke doing? Eating meals without him was so much more quiet. Damn. It's almost as if the lanterns were out. I wonder how Saito had been doing too, I guess. 
first I found him like really intimidating because he just doesn't speak often and also I think he could kill me but <laughs> after spending some time with him I learned that he actually cares for everyone's well being. <clears throat> and he had shown me back some tender kindness, sort of. I took for granted the fact that these men were not always going to be here. I had no idea what, that it would feel so lonely without them. I shook my head, stopping myself. I kept digging like this. There's no doubt in my mind that the other warriors had been feeling even more sadness than I was. I thought to myself that perhaps occupying my time with cleaning the compounds would put my mind at ease. It's good to start with the common room. I slid the door open casually, but then I froze upon seeing the person standing on the other side. Reason being that it was... Um... Yukimura. Didn't you leave? Akeda. I was startled by the creepiness of his expression. Iba had suggested to me that it was best not to find myself alone with Takeda, if at all possible. He was going to leave the Shinsengumi soon, so I didn't think he would have been in the habit of starting any conflicts on his way out, but also, he could just murder me and then leave and no one would know. I found him antagonistic time and time again, so I couldn't help but feel uncomfortable around him. So, Interesting. You only liked being an asshole because you were in the Shinsengumi. I can't really take him up on his word, but it's not like I can just pretend he doesn't exist. I mean, I could, but I guess I'll ask him a question while keeping my wits about me. So what are you doing here, Takeda? I don't think I'm going to go to I can't imagine. Are they good? Right? <laughs> Any of them? He looked around the compounds with a somber face, his eyes scanning slowly. Takeda looked close Whoa. to tears? Whoa. Who are you and what have you done with Takeda? Lost in faint memory. Since there were many times that I'd had trouble with him, I had mixed feelings about his departure but I mean to his credit I knew that when he came to Kyoto he did so with a head full of dreams about the future I guess suddenly I felt the way I did when nope I felt a fraction of the way I did when Saito and Heisuke left it was a melancholic feeling to part with people who worked beside you day in and out as I noticed Takeda's eyes thin, I watched as he moved with uncertainty, pacing as if he truly didn't want to leave before turning to face me. With that said, he marched on as if he was pushing all of his feelings aside for the sake of pride. What an idiot. Even though the room was empty again, I felt stuck, unable to move as I contemplated the moment. My cleaning plans thrown asunder. This evening came, I was returning to my room after having finished organizing the medicine, as was asked of me by Yamazaki. Normally around this time, one could hear the warriors talking amongst one another happily from the common room. But now that there weren't as many warriors left, I guess they don't do that, so it's really quiet. And then... Ah. Uh. I thought I saw a shadow at the end of the hallway, and I squinted to get a better look. If that's Sanon, I swear to fucking god. Oh. That was weird. Um, Takeda? He said he was leaving the compounds today. I knew that bitch wasn't being fucking real fake feelings. Trying to make me feel fucking bad for him. What a piece of shit. Why is he still here? Did he fucking forget something? Sort of acting suspicious. Takeda seemed to be scanning around and peeking over his shoulder as he tiptoed like a weirdo. His behavior had been peculiar, if not outright conspicuous. Why didn't he just leave with Ito? Right? Who knows? They hid in the shadows and watched him. Now the creep is me! He was heading toward the very back of the compounds. Oh no. Takeda did one final glance to make sure that no one was watching him, and then he disappeared into the room. 
That's definitely where Sanon performs his research over the fur furries in the water of life. Only a select few of the Shins and Gumi had known about what went on in that room. Akira, of course, was not supposed to be one of those select few, so technically he wasn't permitted to even be in there. But why? I gulped and I moved to the front of the room. Cracked the door open just a hair and peered in. Since the sun hadn't completely set yet, I didn't see Sanon in the room. Wow, he's doing what he's supposed to for once. Wild. I had assumed then that he was resting in another. From what I could make out, however, Takeda had been ruffling through drawers and reading documents spread across the room. Hey, we have to stop that! Ah! After searching for a while, he had taken a few wow. of the documents and folded them to place inside his kimono. A thief! What? What? Okay, but we're at the door. He grinned with satisfaction, and then he turned to slowly walk in my direction. Uh-oh. Fuck, I gotta hide. I rushed away from the door. Takeda sped out of the room, rushing as if he was trying to make sure he wasn't seen, and then he tried to leave the compounds. But suddenly... <sighs> Thank God. You know, I approached him, and I could see them exchange a few words. Eventually, they ended their conversation. No, wait! Talking about to Inoue before leaving. I knew something wasn't right, so I rushed over to Inoue. Inoue, what are you talking about with Takeda just now? No, you have. This is a stick up. Oh, you see. And I told Inoue what I had just witnessed, but now it took probably too long to explain, so he's probably way gone. Uh, fuck if I know, dude. I think we should, like, run after him and find out what he took. You know, I gave me a grim look. Oh, no! No! Oh, your ankle? Fuck. Didn't sound like we would have been able to tell Takira given you know, it's a condition. When he returns, that's gonna be too We're gonna have to kill late. so many more people now. Literally. Yes, that's the only way left, but all the warriors have been out at the moment. Didn't know when they would turn. Known that there were numerous other responsibilities, and it would be hard to get many people on board to follow after him. Isn't Okita still here? I think he can run while right? coughing. He should always be here, cause he's fucking dying. Besides, I was sure that Takeda was on high alert for people coming after him, but I see him being able to leave Kyoto in time before we could deal with him. All I could do for now was... You know what? Please let the captains know as soon as they return that I'm running after Takeda and taking care of this bitch. Do it myself! Yukimura-kun! I should have fucking stabbed him when he wasn't expecting it earlier. Right? As he came out the door, just been like, "Bah!" <laughs> we can at least hold our hands up with a sword in them. You know, I was confused, but before he could ask, I'll come back unless I die. <laughs> Goodbye. With that said, I ran out of the compounds. This fucking net needs to yeah. die. Um, I mean. He Probably walked in this direction. No. As the hues of night, as of the night sky were growing darker, it was becoming more difficult to distinguish the faces of those passing by. I was growing worried that I may lose him completely. But I mean, it'll be all right, right? He had literally just left the compound, so I was sure he couldn't have gotten too far away. Even though I did have to stop to explain everything to Inoue. I mean, that's what I was telling myself as I began my chase. We failed right out the gate. Eventually. Ah! I finally caught sight of him and I began running after him. Oh no, we're not being stealthy at all. Oh, Takeda. Halt, I say. Wait, what was our plan here? Are we going to just tell him to give the papers back and we think that's going to work? This is embarrassing. It, it is. Stop. Sorry. 
but it's okay. Rather, he started to jog, moving more quickly. There's no way he couldn't have heard me. <sighs> I'm starting to lose my breath, but, you know, I continued running after him. Oopsie. How the fuck did I do that? Wait a minute. Interesting. Oh, Where are we? Wow. Uh-oh. Oh, no. And now we die. When he finally stopped running, he had been approaching a bridge where I noticed there weren't too many other people around. As if. It uh, seems like he's under the impression that if we were to speak alone, he would be able to get out of it. So uh, he spoke pompously. Uh huh. I'd become winded from all the running, so my throat burned, and I couldn't string words together very well. However, Takeda didn't seem to notice the thing, and uh-oh, I'm going to die now. それとも何か確かめたいことでもあるのか? Uh-huh. Ask. Instinctively, I started to back up, but uh, he was closing the distance between us. You see, I always felt a connection between us, so I was wondering, do you want to go out this Friday? <laughs> I don't think he would buy that in a million years. No, he wouldn't. He'd rather, that would probably make him kill us faster. <laughs> I mean, you're not a captain anymore, so of course they're keeping it from you. What? His glare locked with my eyes, and my entire body had started to freeze up. No! I couldn't let him read into my panic. <laughs> I was doing my best to steady my resolve, and I suppressed my quivering voice. No! It's not like that! <sighs> Takeda looked as if he couldn't be convinced, and he continued moving closer to me. I will move off this bridge. Hey. A page is like a secretary. I think that's easy enough for me. I, I can do paperwork and tea. Oh, I see. So he's just gonna get out. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Turned to face away from him as I said that. Okay. <laughs> we failed. Yep. Naruhodo. Mada Tobokeru Tsumorika. Dewa. Koreni Mioboeva Arka. You speak so slowly, dude. <sighs> like, it'd be one thing if we were bad at fighting, but at least, like, good at lying or being sneaky or. Literally anything, but we're not. We're just bad at everything. Takeda spoke with scorn as he reached into his pocket to grab something. Oh shit, it's the red liquid in the glass vial. I guess. God damn it. <gasps> we're so we're so open. <laughs> Takeda smirked as if he'd won. <laughs> Takeda did take something from Sanon's room earlier, and now it was right in front of me. I'd never seen a liquid so bright red unless it was blood. What could this be? Do you just carry blood around with you, Takeda? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Yes, he has got diseases. <laughs> Two mops blood. <laughs> I take, take it back. back. Take what back? Oh, dear oh God. the serum. Oh my god, we're about to get pushed off this fucking bridge. Goodbye, everyone. See ya. Saibukoso I thought you joined the Shinsengumi because you wanted to protect the Shogunate. Ah, uh, money. Oh, I'm 
that's when it became clear to me. He is a bad man. I can't let this man take possession of the water of life. With this in mind, I used this moment of distraction while he was in the middle of his monologue. Oh my god! Wow. We out... didn't even... Oh my god. Oh god. I took out my Kodachi <sighs> and I charged a Takeda. Nani? No. <laughs> yeah, same bro. Ah! Ah! Interesting how I've never been able to get to the menu very easily before now, but now it keeps popping up. Okay, I tried to parry my strike, but my movements were just half, uh, just a hair faster. Oh my god, did we actually hit a man? <gasps> this is a crossroad! Oh my god, we did a thing! I suppose he didn't think I'd attack him. I didn't think I would either, but here we are! <laughs> My swing had just barely grazed over the chest of his kimono. Damn it! Oh, we missed still. Uh-oh. Now we can't <laughs> win at all. <laughs> right? Our element of surprise is gone. We're fucked. Uh-oh. He become visibly frustrated by this, um, and he swung his sword up to slash downward. Uh-oh. I watched as a blinding flash of light reflected from his blade, and it was swinging down towards me. Ha, <laughs> that's weird. Ah. Uh. Oh! oh! I tried to block it, but my arm was gashed open and blood spurted it all for both of us. I gotta stood above me wearing a sadistic expression as he smirked gleefully. Oh no. The gash he just inflicted was, um, slowly but surely beginning to heal itself already, so that's good, Awkward. but. Uh oh, he saw that. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! We really have to kill him now! <laughs> he literally has to die now! Uh oh! His face froze in surprise. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It was the bottle that opened and spurted blood everywhere. Right? Oh, I had this packet of ketchup in my sleeve. Damn it, my ketchup. <laughs> As if. We're like the knockoff knockoff. Even though we're the original. We're the original knockoff. But They're the knockoff knockoff. <sighs> we're just like the sad original, like the like the prototype. Oh, But uh -huh. they're like, we gotta do better than this, guys. Right, like, this is good, but also kind of useless. <laughs> no way, I'm, uh... Uh-oh. He had no intent on listening to me, however, and he grabbed my sleeves and yanked me forward. What? This <laughs> Uh oh, we're being I kidnapped. Oh, we're gonna get sold. Um. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 no. Like, literally, oh. how did he do this? I don't care. It's fine. It's incredible, and I love him, but how the fuck did he do this? That voice! That's my, my line! My bad! I was so excited! <laughs> that voice! Oh my god, Eva, what are you doing here? <laughs> the amount of times that we said that is... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Takeda, upon the side of Eva, looked almost deflated. <laughs> his wow. petulance grew once more because he's a fucking child. Matachi-sama-ka.突き突く人の邪魔をするのが好きと見える。その手を離しなさい。さもなくば。さもなくばなんだ。Murder. Murder. Eva unsheathed his sword with the lightning speed and charged toward Takeda. I could have thought Eva's attack and he parried it up before the two began dueling in front of me. Whoa, guys, let me get out of the way. <laughs> the blades clashed. Each swing met with a sizable force covered by seething anger. A few more slashes were sent relentlessly. Since Eva's skill was far above the level of Takeda's pedigree, the latter started looking out of breath as he was put into a corner. Eventually, Eva grabbed my arms and pushed me behind him to protect me from the fray. Doc, focus on the fight! After peeking behind Eva, Takeda smirked. 
わけがあって豚書で預かっているものだと聞いていたがそういう理由だったのか I mean it's also because they probably need to take out their aggression on someone and I'm an easy target but you know どんな理由です負わせた傷が一瞬で治る伊藤さんが以前言っていた新選組には大きな秘密がある Oh, 伊藤 I thought it said in the way and I was like why would he say that? そしずめあの部屋で行われていた研究と関わりがあるのか伊藤 is always suspicious of us Neither Iba nor I answered him Wait, what about a musty room? Oh Seems like Takeda was already sure of it Continue to talk without waiting or even caring for that matter about our responses. He really likes his monologue. Hmm. I guess that is the reason why he left. どうあっても真実を語るつもりはないかまあいい。He then pointed his katana towards me and asked Iba a question. Iba h a c h i r o お前は何のためにその女をかばう Who's some of the poor master than peace shit like you? Iba's eyes thinned with contempt. 黙れ。事実を言っている。その女は。That seems like a red button, my guy. I'm not sure why you said it a second time. Look, Miro. Sakihodo Kono Watashiga was at a Katanaki's now. Saga Tirudaro. The Amara! What wound? Moshe, there's nothing here. Right. Naraba Misetero. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Tagi has swung his sword again. No! I screamed, but it wasn't Eva that Tagi was swinging towards. Come here! Ow. Not again. <laughs> Heard Iba screams and the sound of flesh being split apart. Blood had splattered over all of us. Wow. How fucking. Where did you hit right? me? Right? Oh my god. I don't think I'm that did immortal, you dude. Did fucking chop my whole neck off? Because, yeah, I think I'll die from that. Suddenly everything went black. Had Iba been hurt? I didn't want to believe it. Slowly cracked my eyes open. Um, dog, we can heal. You really shouldn't take any hits. Oh, cool. In front of me was Eva. He stood upright with eyes bearing an expression of fury and rage unlike anything I'd ever seen. That crimson blood was dripping from his sword, and next to his feet was a detached right arm. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, shit. No. Even after seeing it in front of me, my brain was having trouble processing what I was looking at. Talk to that without an arm. I sensed what seemed like a near murderous conviction throughout Eva's aura. Hmm. Wasn't Eva that I had come to know, but it's pretty fucking tight. <laughs> oh. No, we still gotta take him out, Eva. I'm sorry. Right? Like, actually, he needs to die. Um. Takeda was drenched in the blood sputtering from where his right forearm used to be. He looked like an Oni, straight from fucking hell. Oh, that's right! He's never killed anyone! I forgot! Eva, I'm sorry you have to do this for us. Right. Eva's eyes burned with righteousness and he kept his blade pointed towards Takeda, who trembled from the loss of his limb and also his pride. What a fucking loser. <laughs> Takeda gritted his teeth and slowly backed off. No, 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 wait. We actually do need to kill him. He knows too much and he has too much he evidence. He really has way too much. He put his remaining left hand into his chest pocket. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. As he spoke, the bottle, of water, uh, the bottle of the water of life fell to the floor along with the documents he stole in. Oh, cool. He dropped it. <laughs> what an idiot. Tried to bend down and pick up the bottle, but he slipped. That's a lot of blood. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, oh wow, he oh, really did no. fall. Takeda, no. Awkward. 
I was about to run up and, like, watch him die, but Yuko <laughs> grabbed my arm as he scurried away indignantly. Cool. And the river will take him away? No one will ever know! Tight. Oh, yeah, that was nice of him to drop all of that shit before he fell off the bridge. <laughs> Ooh, very convenient. Ooh. With shaky fingers, I picked the items up and finally was able to breathe. あんなめに合わされて怖かったでしょ。怪我の様子はどうです。傷を見せて。あ、I I didn't want to say it, but just you just said I'm I'm a monster. Uh, uh, I just couldn't say that last part out loud. Oh myself joke. Uh. <laughs> Sounded more like a bird. <laughs> there we go. Suddenly my eyes widened from hearing him. Yeah, why wouldn't he know about this? He literally all right, we got shot. Right. And he saw that we didn't get shot, but <laughs> there was blood. <laughs> I looked up. There stood Evo wearing the same kind of smile that hadn't changed since we were children, supposedly. <laughs> right? I need proof. <laughs> When we were little, did we just go around being like, Watch this! <laughs> <laughs> I have one thing I can do, and it's this! <laughs>。その力は二人だけの秘密だから絶対誰にも見せてはいけないと約束しましたよね。with his flashback, the memories that were once dim and stored in some corner of my mind became vibrantly lit once more. So give us the flashback. That's right. When I was a little girl, I made a promise. One I couldn't tell to any of my other friends. But if it was with him, if it was with Hachiro, I knew he was special. I knew I could tell him anything. <laughs> I'm dying. Eva! I felt a pang of nostalgia and also a heart hurty. And at the <laughs> same time, I felt emotional knowing that I had forgotten about him this whole time. I'm so sorry! I'm like so sorry. <sighs> because you remembered me after all these years and I'm a fucking idiot! You politely touched my hair. Yes, please, headband. Headband. <laughs> his words radiated with warmth, and his kindness made my heart swell. I noticed that as he ran his fingers through my hair, they trembled a bit. I looked up at him, and he put his up a little. <laughs> if he can see you now, Shadi. Literally. You don't gotta worry about what that piece of shit says at all. Katanonigitirutoki person who had brought this realization that Yippo was no one else but me. This is, if anything, this is improvement for him. This is my fault. No, this is character development. It's fine. <laughs> um, I don't want you to have to do anything dangerous for me. You knew that to a warrior, these words were as good as dirt. During the Ikuda Inn incident, the Hamabudi Rebellion, any other time where the warriors had crossed swords with demons 
felt this way during all those battles, but this time it hit me a little different. After a moment of silence, Iba spoke up. あなたの願いならどんな願いでも叶えてあげたいところですけどその願いだけは聞けませんある I knew he'd say that too, but even then, like, you couldn't blame me for making this wish, you know? Just like, don't ever let Eva be hurt in battle, I will literally kill myself. <laughs> and then... <laughs> oh, I love you, Nagura. <laughs> Heard the footsteps of the warriors approaching from afar. <laughs> Yeah. After we told our story, the men of the Shinsengumi went searching for Takeda, but unfortunately there were no useful hints. What a shame. He could have just drifted off somewhere along the river or died due to his injury. I really hope he died. He really should have died. <laughs> if he didn't die, we're in shit. We're in big trouble. We couldn't let our guard down, but now that he had one arm, he wouldn't be able to hold his sword at least. Ha ha! Shinsengumi concluded that even if he were alive, he would never try to get revenge on the Shinsengumi. Fools! They stopped their search for him. Are y'all really that dumb? <sighs> yeah, see, he was like, Hijikata will always have a contingency plan. No, he won't. Right. He has never had one. Honestly. Oh, it's this part! Hey, hey. When we get to the next shop, do you wanna stop? The next choice? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wow, mean, I'm sure it'll, like, it. skip through these choices, but... No, it won't. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, you mean... Oh, you mean once we get to new shit? Yeah. I thought, I literally said once we get to the next choice. Well, yeah, but then I remembered that this choice was something that we would speed through. <laughs> okay. You have a bad habit of saying things and you then- Oh! Oh! Okie dokie. I did it. What did you do? Nothing. <laughs> 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 Nothing. Nothing at all.